done so yet, please pause the video and try the question on your own before moving on. To begin this problem, we can label the initial as well as the final speed of the ball. Next, we need to break these speeds into their x and y components. Looking at the initial speed first, we can see that the x component is opposite of this angle theta here. So we know that the x component will be 10 times the sine of theta. We're using the sine because it's opposite from that angle. We can see that the y component is adjacent to the angle theta, so we're going to use the cosine. We can say that the y component is 10 times the cosine of the angle. We will next look at the x and y components for the final speed. Notice, once again, the y component for the final speed is adjacent to the angle, so we're going to use the 10 times the cosine of the angle once again. The x component, which is pointing to the left, is opposite from the angle, so it's going to be 10 times the sine of the angle. But since it's pointing to the left, and this is very important, we have to make sure that it's negative 10 times the sine of the angle. Now that we have the initial and final speeds broken into their components, we can actually get rid of the resultant speeds of 10 meters per second and this other 10 meters per second because we really just need the components when working the calculations in the next step. Now, to calculate the average force, we're going to use the following equation that we learned in this chapter. We have the change in momentum divided by the change in time. Notice the change in time was given to us as being 0.2 seconds. Now, it's important to note that because force is a vector quantity, we're going to have to make this calculation twice, once for the x direction and another time for the y direction. We'll perform the calculation first in the x direction, so we're using a subscript of x for the average force as well as for the change in momentum. Now, for the change in momentum, we can recall that that is equal to the mass of the object multiplied by its final velocity minus its initial velocity. So we're going to make a substitution for the change in momentum. So we've made that substitution. You might want to pause the video and just make sure you understand where all these variables are coming from. We do have the final velocity in the x direction. That was the negative 10 sine of theta. We also have the initial velocity in the x direction. That was the positive 10 sine of theta. The mass of the ball was also stated. And as noted, we have the time. So we can just plug all the known values into this equation. Notice, of course, that we used 60 degrees for the angle theta, as that was stated in the question. And when we compute this, we get an answer of approximately negative 260 newtons for the average force exerted in the x direction. And this is a result that we're going to hang on to. We now have to perform the calculation, but this time for the y direction. So we're, of course, going to change the subscripts from x's to y's. So we've done that for the average force the final velocity as well as the initial velocity. Let's recall that the initial velocity in the y direction was positive 10 cosine theta, and the final velocity in the y direction was also positive 10 cosine theta. Now we'll notice something interesting here. When we subtract 10 cosine of 60 minus 10 cosine of 60, of course we're going to get 0 inside of the brackets here. And then when we multiply 3 times 0, we get 0, and we divide by 0.2, we get 0. So in other words, the average force in the y direction turns out to be zero newtons. There is no average force in the y direction. So now we just have to figure out how to report our final answer. And since there's no force in the y direction, we don't have to worry about it. The final answer will therefore be 260 newtons in the negative x direction. Recall that it's in the negative x direction because when we calculated the average force in the x direction, we got this negative sign. So that means the average force overall is pointing in the negative x direction. And indeed, that will be the final answer. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen.